This training resource is designed to give you an overview of PREMIS, the Preservation Metadata Standard. It is aimed at those of you in the archival field. You don't need any specific knowledge of archiving digital content because this video will start with the basics of digital preservation. It will equip you with the knowledge you need to understand PREMIS and its importance in digital preservation. Here's a summary of what we will cover. So, what is digital preservation? Working in the archival or library world, chances are you've noticed the huge increase in digital records that we are faced with. How we store, safeguard and preserve this information is in no way easy. Digital preservation is vital to this process. It helps in ensuring long-term access to this digital content through policies, strategies and actions. The information preserved must remain meaningful and authentic. Digital preservation poses a number of challenges. One of the biggest threats to digital content is technological obsolescence. This is where hardware or software becomes obsolete, which can leave the digital content unreadable over time. Other threats include those to information integrity. Because records can be easily modified without our noticing, this can affect the integrity and authenticity of the digital information. We must be careful to manage and avert any malicious intent and we must oversee any appropriate modifications that are made. PREMIS stands for Preservation Metadata Implementation Strategies. This was also the name of the international working group that created the PREMIS Data Dictionary. This forms the international standard for preservation metadata. When you hear premise mentioned, usually it is in reference to the data dictionary. Premise is used for repository design, repository evaluation, and for transferring archival data between preservation repositories. Even if you don't work with digital content and are more familiar with this type of archive, it is still useful to have a sense of what premise is and how it can help. It might even inspire you to implement your own digital preservation program. Key to premise is understanding preservation metadata. As you likely know, metadata can be defined as data about data. So, preservation metadata is simply the information a repository uses to support the digital preservation process. Here are a couple of examples of how. Checksums can be used to verify information integrity. This checksum information is stored as metadata, so it can be used to determine if a file has been altered over time. Both migration and emulation are preservation strategies that work to combat technological obsolescence. These processes require metadata about the original file formats and the hardware and software environments supporting them. Now we can take a look at the premise data dictionary. The dictionary talks about semantic units. These are pieces of information or knowledge. The dictionary defines a set of semantic units, i.e. the things that preservation repositories need to know to carry out preservation activities. These activities will be things like making sure digital material remains readable and isn't modified accidentally, as well as ensuring any legitimate changes are accurately recorded. As an example, a digital file's semantic units could include things like the file creator, what program created the file, the program's operating system, the date the file was ingested into the preservation system, and information relating to rights. Premise likes you to be specific about what it is you are describing. To help you, they developed the Premise data model. Every semantic unit that is defined in the data dictionary can be mapped onto one of these four entities. These are objects, rights, agents, and events. Each one is vital to preservation activities. Finally, let's take a brief look at premise in practice. 
its strengths and weaknesses. To actually implement Premise in your workplace may require a lot of training. However, once in place, the system is designed to gather this preservation metadata automatically. A further benefit of Premise is its XML schema. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language, which defines a set of rules for encoding documents. When we use Premise for data exchange, the information is generally represented in XML. The data dictionary was created to be compatible with XML. This is key as most preservation repositories already use XML formats to import or export data. This enables easier data sharing and greater cooperation between repositories. I hope this video has given you a bit of insight into Premise and helped you to understand the importance of preservation metadata. If you want to learn more, take a look at these resources.